All right, so today I have exciting news. I've finally jumped on the Xbox One bandwagon, and I've had it for a couple days, and um, something came to mind. I said, how can I stream video from my laptop or my desktop or my tablet to the Xbox? And I know historically that was uh, done via uh, media extenders and whatnot, and uh, it could be a pain at times to have to type the code in and to sync all that stuff up and make it work through the firewall. Good news is that uh, it, the process is a lot easier uh, to stream videos to the Xbox One. So I would like to take a look at that with you. And uh, today I'm kind of doing things a little different. I've introduced a webcam and I'm using my camcorder as well as the screen capture software. So hopefully uh, this is a success and bear with me if uh, there are some, some uh, kinks in, the, in, in getting this done. So what we're going to do uh, is look at a prerequisite on the Xbox uh, my Xbox was already set up this way. Uh, if you're having problems connecting yours, then you may double check this, this feature. So it's in settings and then preferences, and you want to go ahead and make sure that allow play to streaming is uh, enabled. Oh, and, and one other thing to mention real quick before uh, we get started is you can change the name of your Xbox. It does require a reboot, but this could come in handy if you have multiple Xboxes in your household then you won't go and accidentally stream to the wrong one. So I named mine Xbox Living Room, of course, because the Xbox is in the living room. Uh, the other thing to, to mention is I'm assuming that you have an Xbox set up on the network and that you've subscribed to the Xbox Live Gold account. So on Windows 8 or 8.1, you, you basically go to the Settings and uh, Control Panel and choose View Devices and Printers. Initially, my Xbox showed up white. It was disconnected, so I removed that device, and then I was able to re-add it. So what we do is we go to Add Device. It'll scan through, and it's going to detect the Xbox. So there it is, Xbox Living Room. And I'm uh, one thing I want to mention, I am connected on Wi-Fi, so it is pretty surprising at just how good the video content streams as far as the quality is concerned. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm, I'm picking a, a video segment that I had uploaded on a blog. Bear in mind, it's not the highest resolution whatsoever. Uh, all right, so we're going, to hit, we're going to choose Play 2, and we're going to do the Xbox of, of our choice. And it seems to take a, a couple seconds to queue up, but I'm okay with that because the quality is it's really spot on, as you'll see here. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, Xbox One Smart Class application before I sign off. One of the things I like about this application is um, the QWERTY keyboard. I mean, we can see X-Men First Class and different, different results within this application. The other thing that it just is real compelling to have a phone app is the fact that you know the Connect now um, makes the Xbox where you don't even need a controller, and your controller might be stuffed away in a drawer, and if it is, you can use this companion uh, application to basically you know do certain things on the Xbox that might be a little uh, difficult if you're just starting off, like closing windows and certain things that maybe the gestures aren't quite there yet for you. So, uh, yeah, I highly encourage you to check this app out. It looks great on the iPhone. It looks great on the Windows mobile phone. Uh, it's really consistent across the board and um, a great addition to the, uh, the Xbox lineup.